the opening week of the National Football League has finally arrived. For you as a player, what was it like when the season was about to get started? Man, it's the one time of the year, even maybe more than the Super Bowl, the butterflies are flying because you can't wait to see what's going to happen. Fields the football at the 8. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. It's first down as they head to the line. After all of the offseason talk and training camps, let the season begin with the first down. Here's the offensive line which must protect its quarterback today. to the two-yard carry. It sets up second down and eight. The Ravens set at the line. Dime package. Up the middle. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. This defensive front is so often disruptive and in the quarterback space. To that last carry. It's third and three. Hey, hey, hey. Smith's going to take the snap from the shotgun. He makes the catch, and it's Webb there to meet him. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good, it's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Taken down at the 45. Jim, let's keep our eye on the defense. If they keep giving up runs like this, they're going to have to change what they're doing on the defensive side. Maybe bring another guy down in the box to stop those runs. Second down now. Geno Smith under center. Back to the ground. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Jim picking up a couple first downs early in the game. It's, well, it's like when you play golf and you par the first couple holes. I know it doesn't happen a lot, but when you do, it makes you feel good. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down following the run. Nelson's lined up in the slot. Smith's got the football. Interception. Running room. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. You got to love that from your defense. They take a chance. They get the interception. Not only do you do that, they return it a long way for the touchdown. The Ravens lined up now for the point after. Inside of the uprights. Jets are ready to return the kick. Makes the catch at the seventh. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line.
They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The Jets at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Has his target. Sims is able to move the chains here as he's tackled down. Well, you run the curl route in the NFL. You've got to turn, find the quarterback, and then move till you see the open space where he can throw it in there. Nelson's in the slot. First down and 10. They'll go ground. Smith there to make the stop. Second down here. Nickel formation here for the defense. Offense lines up here. Smith's now going to leave the pocket and tuck it under. And there's the pass incomplete. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. Now, looking at third down. Nelson's lined up now as a slot receiver. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Ivory's not able to come up with the catch. And a lot of times when you see a receiver drop a pass, they take their eyes off it. That's one thing. Or they're just trying to get it in their hands too quick. Why? Because they're trying to make some yards after the catch. That was the problem that time. First down, offense readying for the snap. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. Setting up screen and off the mark on that short throw. This is a collection of wide receivers that could dictate this game today. They must find a way to create separation for their quarterback. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. And Rice is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Flacco keeps it. Pinnas got it. First down. First down here after the completion. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Handoff by Flacco. And they bring him down at the 33-yard line. Taking a look at the linebackers. They're young. They're unheralded. But they do know how to make plays. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. Offense lines up here. And the give now to Ray Rice. And they tackle him there at the 34. Let's go now to Danielle Pellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Ravens official. The doctors have ruled his injury as a dislocated hip. This is a very painful injury, and he'll continue to receive treatment. Bottom line, this type of injury so early in the season is bad news for this team. It'll be third down. Shotgun time here for Joe Flacco. Out of the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Torrey Smith with the catch. I think his time has gone on. More and more coaches and teams, we see him going for it on fourth and short. But this decision, you're, you're winning the game, fourth and short, you're near midfield. I don't think you go for it. Don't let the 
pressure the fans or your players get into your mind put the football away that's the right decision First down coming up. Offense lines up here. Smith's got it on the play action. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. And here we have second down. Sims is in the backfield. Smith is in the shotgun. Jordy Nelson with the grab. Number seven. Nine yard gain on one. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Geno Smith under center. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. They'll mark him at the 34. Third and short. I don't know what you do anymore. I've given up. Do you throw it? Do you run it? Do you have that kind of faith in your offensive line? Well, the offense does. They run the football. Great job by the offensive lineman, giving that running back a chance to get that first down. Back to two. Back to two. Slow, 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 slow. First and ten. They'll run it here. That brings the play to an end. Play hey, this defense. They are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Second down here after that run play. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. The Jets' offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. The Ravens come out in a dime package. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. And he hauls it in. Decker is tackled down. The Jets that time, they can't get big yards, but the throw and catch picks up a few, and his third down's much easier with this situation. Third down here, offense trying to pick up the first. The Jets load up the backfield for this next play. Taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Good job by the offensive line there on third and short. Even though the defense knew it was probably going to be a run, still able to get in there and barely get that first down. Nelson's a receiver in the slot. First down at the 48. Another running play. And gains about one. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Smith's setting up now in the pistol. to the ground. Isn't it awesome on the defensive side where you have linebackers can make plays like that? Getting that interception, it's not always defensive backs that get to make those plays. Linebackers can do it too. First down on the way. Bolden is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Handoff to Ray Rice. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Rice is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. At 
after running it. It's second down. Bolden's lined up in the slot. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down. Jim, that's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Offense lines up here. Flacco's going to keep it. Smith's got the catch and the first. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there. And it's good for a few yards and gets him another first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Offense lines up here. Rice. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Second down and three following that nice run. The Ravens are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. To Smith. Well, there's a lot of ways to get it done. Just remember, throw it to the open guy. You never know what's going to happen afterwards. Short pass that time turns into a long game. Good job by the wide receiver. First down here after the completion. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. Tosses the football. The tackle is made. You got to be fast to get to the quarterback, and you got to be strong to stop the run. How about that streak that time by the DN? Stands his ground and makes the tackle. It's now second down. Flacco's able to fake into the line and still has it. Oh, and almost picked off that time. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. It's Rice in the backfield. Throw to the left. Leaps up and comes away with it. Oh, my gosh. He should have scored that time. Gets tackled inside the five-yard line. Now we'll see if the offense is good enough to push it in. The kick is through for three. Yeah, that was a good job that time by the defense. They were bending. They did not break, and all they did was give up a field goal. And a touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. They face first down. They bring in the extra tight end. Smith's going to take it from the gun. Webb's going to make the tackle. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. That pass play wasn't good for much. So now it's second down and nine. Nelson's in the slot. Smith's back in shotgun formation. And he takes off. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. On defense nowadays, I don't care who's back there as a quarterback. You must be aware and not let them out of the pocket. Any quarterback in the NFL now can scramble out there and pick up some yards. Good job that time with the QB, and he gets the first down. They come to the line, and it's first down. Smith's got it in the gun. Finds his mark. Amaro's marked down at the 47th. 
That's a good job by the wide receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Sims is in the backfield. Smith standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Jordy Nelson with a nice catch there. That ball had a lot on it. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. First down following the long play. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. They come out in the dime package. Smith's going to take the snap from the shotgun. He's got the catch. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven. But don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. First down here after the completion. Nelson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Smith is in the shotgun. This will just go as an incompletion on the screen. Second down. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Smith's going to take it from the gun. Here's Decker. That's a gain of eight. The Jets had a nice play designed that time. It pulled the defense, and they get the pass completion for a nice pickup. The offense needs two yards here on third down after the completion. The defense comes out of the dime. The give. The Jets get a first down. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? The Ravens signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Smith's back in shotgun formation. Touchdown. This game is tight. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. Jets getting ready for the kickoff. That's a timeout call. The Ravens' return team is ready. Smith's going to start his return. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Ravens are set for their next possession. This will probably be the last play of the first half. First down at the 29. Smith has it on the screen. They have this one covered up, and it's going to set them back for a loss. That does it for the first half. Jets trailing this one. Welcome back to M&T Bank Stadium. Jim Nance, Phil Sims, and Danielle Bellini for the start of the third quarter. Catches it at the nine and starts his return. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. <laughs> the 
The Ravens come to the line, starting this drive at the 28. Bolden's a receiver in the slot. The Ravens take it from the 28. Tackled at the 29-yard line. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. Second down coming up. And Rice is lined up as the single back. Flacco's got it after the play fake. There is nothing worse for a quarterback than have the pockets collapse. And that time they collapse on his left side. There's nothing he can do. And he goes down for the sack. It's third down coming up. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. From the gun, Flacco throws to the right. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. It's third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. We'll see what he can do here. Elam is there and makes the stop. First down here. Here's the handoff for about four. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Nelson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Middle. In the end, it picks up only a yard. down following the run ivory lined up in the backfield from the gun scrambling out of the pocket under pressure as he lets go now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field the Jets just picked up a big first down that time jim when you're down by a few points in the second half every first down is crucial nice job that time by the offense offense lines up here First and ten. No room to complete that one. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. Second down following that incompletion. Nickel formation for the defense here. Gets the handle here. Ela makes the tackle. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Now third and four following the run. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. He has the grab. He's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. Yard. 
the offense is backed up. Wide receivers are bunched up. Now first and ten. Pierce takes it. Toss play. Muscles through the defender. Second down and two to go after the running play. Eight. Offense lines up here. Pierce has got it on the handoff. And they are in on Pierce. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. First down here after the run. Bolden's lined up in the slot. Gets it again. Ends up picking up three yards. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times. And we saw it that time, and they stopped the play for a short game. Second down after... Going to the ground game, the first play. Offense lines up here. Wide open for the catch. A lot of people talk about time of possession. Sometimes it's overblown, but in a situation like this, where you're winning a close game in the second half, you want to control the tempo, control the clock, keep getting those first downs. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Pierce is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Will go ground. Tackle made by Clowney that time. Well, anytime you're talking about a successful run in the NFL, the running back is going to be a big part of that. Breaking tackles, but this time it was just the vision of the running back. He picked the right hole and picked up some nice yards. And now they'll try over again on second down. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. He'll keep it on the play fake. Could have been intercepted. Well, Tim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted, and the guy dropped it, you just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? down defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play and there's Cruz and he's tackled but not until he picked up the first down well when you play this cover three defense where three defenders are playing deep that's great you stop the deep passes but who's gonna stop the quick ones well nobody that's why the quarterback and the receivers are having Really good success throwing these slant patterns. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. They better hurry to get the snap. Takes it from the strong eye. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Looks to his left. Cruz has got it, and a first. The Ravens are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. First down here after the completion. Offense lines up here. 
The final quarter begins with this snap. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. What a drive this has been. Second and 13. Gilmore's got it. First down. Well, you get a couple first downs on a drive. It just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive play caller, and there's nothing like dictating to the defense. I love it. This has been a long drive so far. Jim, there's just nothing like just controlling the football game. you got to lead, and now here your offense is on the field and just marching right down it. First down here. This long drive continues. Play action fake, looking to throw. In his hands, complete, touchdown. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. Ravens getting set to kick it away. Catches it at the nine and starts his return. That tackle by A.J. Hawk. It's first down as they head to the line. Throw, throw, throw. Smith's got it in the gun. Elam's there to take it down. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Smith's going to be in the pistol here. First down and 10. Deep to Larry Fitzgerald. Very nearly intercepted. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time they're dropped, and this time that was a bad drop by the defense. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Smith's lining up in the pistol. Interception by Webb. Running room. Ducks out of bounds. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position and they made the interception. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Bernard Pierce lined up in the backfield. To the ground and straight ahead, Pierce. It's now second down and seven after the three yard rush. Play action. Now on the move. Pass is intercepted. Nice tackle. First down. Offense readying for the snap. Geno Smith will take the snap out of the gun. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Out of the pocket. And he's thrown to the ground. I don't know if they were confused or not, but the left side of the offensive line that time, they were not aggressive. They got pushed back, and they give up a sack of the quarterback. Second down and 13. Finds his mark, and he's going to be tackled right around the 37. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. First down coming up. 
Let's see how they back up the big play here. Smith standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Here's Decker. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. It takes really good corners to play a defense where you challenge the wide receivers and just play them man-to-man -man coverage. I don't think this defense has that kind of quality corners. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. He's scrambling now. Oh, the coach is going, hey, nice job, son, nice job. Anytime the quarterback takes off on a pass play and picks up a first down, it makes the coaches feel really good. First down on the way. They come out in the dime package. Smith's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Brings it into his body. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Second down and nine. Hand off. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. After that last run, it sets up third and six. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. And Ivory's handed the football. This time, they failed to pick up the first on third down. A rare occurrence here today. This will be a field goal attempt from 41 yards out. The kick is good. Well, when you get points, it's never a bad thing. That is for sure. Good job by the field goal kicker that time. Nice job by the offense moving the football down the field. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. They face first down. Bolden's in the slot. Pierce is going to take the handoff now. In on the stop. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the front that time, and they only give up a short game. This will be second down. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. That's second down coming up. Pierce is lined up in a single back formation. They run the counter play. That's a gain of only a yard. Here's the dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Third down now. And Rice is a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Flacco from the shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. A takeaway. Good piece of tackling. Every play in an NFL game is huge. But when you're talking about fourth down with the game on the line, well, this can decide it all. So hard to stop an offense four times in a row. This is going to be interesting to see how the defense goes about it. First down. Let's see what they come up with here. First down at the 33. Handoff made. The Jets now move the chains. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. And you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Go run it. Here's the handoff. 
stop the play right there. Jim, when you get inside the other team's red zone, inside the 20-yard line, and you're down some points, you're thinking touchdown in these situations. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. The defense comes out in the dime. Smith is in the shotgun. And he's forced to the ground. Bill, it's third down. They are in four-down territory, and the defense knows that. Yeah, and if you get a situation like this, Jim, on the defensive side, you need one of your pass rushers to come through and get on that quarterback. Huge third and long coming up, and they're certainly in four down territory as well. Smith's going to take it from the gun, looking to the right side and throwing. Elam is there and makes the stop. Just when it looked like the defense had figured out a way to stop this offense, well, they give up the conversion, and now backs to the wall. All right, well, it's not over. The defense has got to let that go. they got to swell up, get tough, and get this job done now. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Huge play coming up. Offense looking for one touchdown in the late stages. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do. And you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. Why go for the point after when you can win it with a two-point try? They convert, and they take the lead in the late going. Well, we've seen this all day long, haven't we? Uh, the coach has been very aggressive in his game management decisions, and he stayed with it that time. He didn't back off. And that was a great call to pick up the two points. First down, pressure on every snap now. Quarters formation here for the defense. First down at the 20. the sack. Well, the right side, Jim, the right tackle and the right guard. They look confused. They don't know what to do, so they just get run over and the quarterback falls down. They are set back in long distance territory after that sack. Second down coming up. Flacco will take it from the gun. Launches it down the field. He will not score and we have a final. Well, week one is in the books and one side is now 1-0. Yeah, it's a great feeling. You know, all training camp, preseason football and everything you work for, you come out, you get rewarded, you win the game, Jim. You're 1-0 and everything looks good. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.